Welcome back to the Rum Brothers. We are finally back. Thank you for joining us for another tasting of a spirit. Uh, <laughs> Thomas, tell me what we are trying today. We got Magic Moments Vodka from India. Shout out to our boys at Esquire Liquors for hooking us up. We just wanted to start out slow. It's been a while since we've done a video. So we went with the vodka, you know, uh, delicate, sensitive palates. No. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Um, Look at these. We've had these since we've started the channel, but I never brought them yeah. until today. So now we have the fancy glasses. Um, so this vodka from India has won a bunch of awards, specifically the prestigious Monde Selection Belgium 2013 Gold Award for the fifth time, which doesn't really make sense. Anyway, let's give it a nose. <laughs> it smells like vodka. Yeah. It's kind of funny we're doing a tasting video for just like normal vodka, but you know, it's important. We, you got to know what it tastes like. I mean, if it's a good vodka, it will stand out a little bit. Well, we'll see. All right. Uh, yeah, all, all I get is uh, grain spirit, neutral grain spirit. <laughs> yeah, all I get is alcohol. It's not too harsh. Yeah, I learned recently that your each nostril works differently, so it's good to like go either side. You'll get different... Sometimes you just dip your thing. finger in and you know. Well, that's another thing too. You can uh, you can put it on your hand. Put it in your neti pot. <laughs> <laughs> put it on your hand, rub it, and then smell your hand. And if you don't like the way it tastes, you can just use it as a hand sanitizer. <laughs> Except not, because apparently it has to be 70 proof. This yeah. is only 80. I'm sorry, 70% <laughs> alcohol. This is 80 proof, so it's only 40%. Yeah. <laughs> 70, 80. This is only 80. Okay, okay, All right. ready? Let's, yes. let's try this plain vodka. <laughs> Pleasant? Yeah. Light? I would say if you're gonna have a vodka for your vodka soda, your whatever. It's very stringent. Yeah. You, this isn't. This sipping. is not a sipper. No. Not a sipper, but would you guys use this for your mixed drinks, for your cocktails, etc.? If you had a party and you needed to make some party punch, uh, Dylan, I know you like that. <laughs> you make the party punch all the time. What do you think? I think this is too harsh. Too harsh. I give it a no. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't. I don't know vodka that well, so it says enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> it says enjoy chilled, and this is not chilled because it's better. I mean, to... it's fairly cold. So, um, price it just guess? ends too too harshly. It's nice and neutral, but it, it I feel <laughs> like it's gonna cut the. It'll be hard to cut out the alcohol in this, even if you're mixing. So, price wise, what do you guys think it is? Twenty bucks. Well, you bought a 1.75. So yeah, what do you think for a 1.75? It's probably somewhere in the teens, this one. It's $17.99. Very close. It was $16.99. Um, wow. But not bad for a 1.75. Um, maybe throw it in your freezer. Forget pull, about it. <laughs> forget about it. Well, I, I don't think Dylan likes it. I think it's all right. I Like, vodka, I feel like, is just for mixing. I mean... Some people like to drink it straight. Dylan likes to. He's a vodka snob. I don't know. I'm just pulling stuff out. The vodka snob. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> so not glowing reviews, but we shared a magic moment. But we shared a magic moment with you all at with, home. With you all, and that's all that really matters. Well, thanks for joining us on this episode of the Rum Brothers. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll be coming back soon with another tasting and review. Join us, won't you?